Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about uh, dynamic heads-up displays inside the Cadence PCB tools. So um, when I'm routing some traces that have um, some length matching rules or differential pairs and I want to match them, um, I want to get some feedback on the screen to show me what, uh, what, what the rules are, how close I am to meeting those rules, etc. So I've got um, something called the dynamic uh, head heads-up display. So if we go to Constraint Manager, so set up constraints, and we look at the electrical workbook and we look at any of the worksheets, so relative propagation delay, you can see effectively I've got um, I've got some match groups, I've got a differential pair here with some static phase, I've got some uh, differential pair rules with some static phase rules, so uncoupled length and static phase. I've got, uh, if you go back to the electrical, uh, total length length rules and we've also got min match propagation delay rules. So any of these panes will give me uh, the heads up feedback display uh, when I'm routing or sliding uh, or adding delay tuning. So if I go to the add connect command, so root connect, and I click on this differential pair, you'll see um, in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, I've got three heads up display bars, uh, static phase tolerance, which is green, one for total edge length, which is red, and one for relative delay, which is red. So I'm kind of, I'm meeting the static phase tolerance, but I need to kind of add some length to the other two to try to kind of meet the rules that I'm getting. You'll see that these values will actually update um, as I come down and route. So I'm, I'm not close to meeting the total length or the relative delay um, based on the other routed members of this object, but the static phase tolerance is okay. So that was a fixed position. Let's just do an oops there. Uh, so if we go to, and uh, let's just finish the command there for now. If we go to setup and user preferences and look at uh, route and connect, we've got uh, a Allegro dynamic timing positioning or Allegro dynamic timing is on. This turns the heads up displays on. And then there's a fixed position which would fix it to the bottom left hand corner. So if I just disable this one and click OK and then we'll go back to the add connect command. You'll see now I just get the one heads up display right by my mouse following the mouse. But it's only going to give me up to be one of the heads up displays, not all three. So I would rather have those fixed in the position. So we'll just go and uh, effectively undo what I've just done there. Let's just turn that fixed position on and click OK. So when I get that heads up display, I can then root to give me the real time feedback. Um, let's just click and confirm to get the routing done. So I'm still not meeting the constraints. So let's just go and add some delay here quickly just to uh, to show you the, the full extent of how the delay bars work. So I'm adding some delay here and you can see effectively going from red to green, which means I'm meeting the constraint. There is also this, this kind of stipple pattern on the inside of the track. So you'll see the stipple pattern when I'm not meeting is kind of, uh, you get this stipple pattern on the track. And as I do start to meet it, you'll see, uh, nearly there. Let's just make that a bit wider. I don't get the stipple pattern. If it's too short, I get I, I get the stipple pattern. If it goes too long, I get the stipple pattern. So that's another visual re uh, representation on the screen as well as the heads up display bars. Uh, but once you complete, the DRCs disappear. And if I went to Constraint Manager, um, I, would, I would see green in Constraint Manager. So 